Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I've made for you. Before we start today's video though, please, I would like to ask you to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, the notification button, and if you want to support the channel, you really like what we're doing, hit that join button. It helps us out. You can always consider going over to buy me a coffee and joining us there. Today's video, we're going to talk about Fi OS. Now, what is Fi OS? Fi OS is a DWM window manager that has been heavily customized and looks extremely well. It's based off of Arch, fantastic distro, uh, but I'll tell you right now, it's really not ready to use. Okay, so not ready to use that was a big bomb to drop there before the uh the intro but the truth is is it's really not and it's really not ready to use because of a few things uh let me go over to the desktop real quick and i will show you what it looks like briefly so this is what it looks like like i said it's dwm it's very heavily customized with you know the dwm bar is extremely customized uh it has the jg menu that drops down um right here and also, if you right-click on it, you get your power session, which is very nice. Uh, but first, I want to talk about why it's not ready. So let me go back to me being so screen. So listen, developers, when you put out a distribution on your download page, one, before you make it go live, you should make sure that it's the right distribution release that you want out there. The one that's on there, uh, on their download page, is not the right one. I will put a wormhole link in the one down below. Now, it will expire in 24 hours. And uh, if you want me to put it up again, just let me know. Or I could, you know, drop a link in the comment section down below. If you're really requesting it and you really want it, I can get that to you very easily. It is a 2.19, oh, 2.9, yeah, I guess it's like a 2.1 gig uh, ISO. And the one that's on their source boards, I believe, is uh, 1.9. So there's a drastic difference. and. That being said, even though the 2.1 would seem that it would be a ready-to-use distribution, it is not. And by that, I mean, as you saw, it was functional. And we'll go take a look at it real quickly here uh, when I'm done. But the caveat is that it's incomplete in the sense that it three things that a, that a distribution absolutely needs when you start. Even if you compile like vanilla art, you, on the, when you go, when ask you what packages to install, you have to install. A terminal you need to install a web browser okay and you need to install a file manager okay that those are the three things that you need for the basics of, of actually using and setting up your Linux distribution to be able to go well I mean you need either like a, a whether it's a, a GUI interface file manager or something like Ranger or Midnight Commander and stuff but you need to be able to browse files and this distribution only came with one of the three vital things that you need and a bunch of other stuff that didn't need to be in there that he's i guess he was saying that um to the to the person that recommended me to review this he was saying to them that some stuff was going on he needed some time in his life to do some stuff him and his developer the co-developer uh and so um they needed some time or whatever so they kind of hurried up and put this one together and they put it out there listen Here's the deal. I'm, I'm begging you. If you're a developer out there and you are creating a distribution, make sure that it is, it is in tip-top shape before you make that release, okay? Even if you miss the release date, it's better to put out a quality product that people aren't going to get a bad taste in their mouth on than there is one that's shoddy and not complete. That's my rant on this and why it's incomplete. Now, let us go and take a look at it. So here we are. As I showed you earlier, the desktop is right here. Uh, as I showed you, the bar at the top is very heavily customized. It, what's really nice, though, is, is he's made this, and it's, the concept is beautiful, especially for DWM, to be able to switch your, your bar widgets at a moment, like your weather, your clock, your internet, all that good stuff. It's really done through, this, through the application app, which I'll show you at the end. Because it's a, it's a it's a very great kind of multi tool. At the top, you have on the left your application launcher. As I showed you earlier, here you go. 
I will tell you what I added. I added a render onto this. This is based on pack on on art, so you can actually you know pseudo Pac-Man. Da, da, da. In fact, when you uh, install, you need to do this uh, the pseudo dash capital S Y Y U. Do the system update and get everything really really nice, and then start adding a package. So I added a render. I added Kate as a uh, text editor, graphical one, only because I wanted to see how fast it added, and that's one that I that I know and I use. Um, but it all it came with it actually has NeoVim in it, has Vim in it. Sorry, yeah, NeoVim and Vim. So I added that. I also added nitrogen. Now, what I want to show you is when I open up a nitrogen, he only has two wallpapers to choose from. That's it. So, I mean, they haven't put a whole lot in here. I added Kitty, and then I added Thunar for the file manager. I also added Firefox web browser. I also added Alacrity because I wanted to choose it too. Now, what I will show you is that Alacrity, uh, look at the font rendering that's in here. Uh, if you can see it, I'll make it much bigger. It's a little, a little wonky, if you can see. So uh, I had to add Kitty because initially I was just going with... Uh, alacrity but then i noticed this thing the the font rendering being bad and so with kitty as you can see it is absolutely not so oops. so with kitty it is absolutely not so um if you want to use a graphic well no actually it is now that i've increased the font it is it is messed up so yeah there you go with st it's not which is their standard uh, terminal that's in here. My bad. Their standard terminal that's in here has got regular font rendering, so everything's looking good. Uh, dang it. And so, so, so just know that some of the font scaling is not right on here as well. It could be the virtual machine thing, or it could be actually in the actual software itself. Once again, because of the way that it was rushed to be put out, to be a complete issue, uh, a complete uh, ISO or OS, according to the developer, which they completely forgot. And also, I think it, this is based out of Turkey as well. But uh, either way, the way that they did this um, was absolutely shoddy. It shouldn't have never been released this way. They should have just left their old ISO that was actually functional and working well, according to what other people told me out there. Um, but they put stuff in like Advanced Network Manager, Avahi in there. They put uh, Rofi, the menu launcher, in there. They put in JG Menu, which, okay, two menu launchers. Um, no browser, file manager, okay, the same. Um, Bluetooth adapter, Anki, no browser, no file manager. They had MPV Player, which is um, the only video player that's in here. They have that uh, it's running on Pycom. That's why you have such great picture quality as well. And it's a great compositor uh, with animations that you can put in and different um, like fade in and fade out, that kind of stuff. So um, they put in these software tokens, uh, Vim and user feedback uh, for contact. I, 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 my feedback is for this video. So uh, that's the a look at what they have installed. Oh, they have the NVIDIA X server installed. So it comes prepared to support NVIDIA. That is the big push for them. Then again, these are young developers, and this is how they learn. They have to hear this feedback. I hope this gets back to them. I mean no offense in any way, shape, or form. I'm just being literally, you know, I'm reviewing this. And like I said, I, I got to give the review the way that it is, the way it sits, and this is how they did it. I will tell you, once again, their greatest thing that they've done with this distribution, especially for DWM, because writing the configuration file on DWM can be arduous, especially if you don't understand the syntax. So this is on uh, in the upper left hand, this little floating bar over here in the upper left hand corner, where you have the workspace that you're on. Next to that, you have the actual layout for which you want it to be. As you can see, the, the top one is the tiled layout, then they have uh, book stack, Monocle layout, deck layout, spiral layout, dwindle layout, center mastered layout, centered floating mastered layout, and then you even have a floating layout. So for me, I prefer the dwindle layout. So all you got to do is right click on it to bring up this context menu, right? So you right click on it, go to dwindle. Oops, sorry. 
I click the one above dwindle. Go to dwindle, and there you go. Just like that. Now, if you open Windows, they will actually dwindle as they go. Um, let's go with uh, City. See how they're dwindling? Now, there are key bindings I could use to do this, but um, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just showing you how they dwindle. We're going to quit Firefox. Yes, we're going to quit. I'll exit. And exit. Okay, so, I mean, you could change through that. Now, that's very awesome on how to switch through that very fastly. I mean, that is awesome. On the right-hand side, like I said, these are your width for your volume, your network, you know, all that good stuff, right? Time and date, weather, all that good stuff. So now, if I were to click this little thing, this is the Phi, set, the Phi OS settings app. This is a thing of beauty. I got to give props to prop is due. This is awesome. So you have info. This tells you all about the options tab, you know, which is customizing teams, wallpaper, more, animation tab, set up animations for PyCom and related options, and check out the man uh, FiOS for available scripts. Okay, so let's take a look at the options tab. Now, in the options tab, you can actually set the wallpaper here. I like variety because variety is a little bit better, but you know, uh, you could import more. I, 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 you know, I mean, uh, sorry, not variety, but nitrogen. I, I enjoy nitrogen much better. If you're going to have a wallpaper switcher, just use nitrogen. Uh, a lot of people like it. It's also graphical, and you could actually see a lot of cool stuff but once again you know i'm not knocking that actually works you can change the ropey theme here you can change the power menu theme here from default type one type two type four whatever i i don't know and, and then also the power menu style you can change your menu style here uh, if you go to animations now this is really really cool uh, you can you can enable uh dlx you can v-sync through here enable the animations of the pycom enable fading uh, and new tag fading uh, tag is workspace uh, they call them workspaces in DWM. Previous tag fading. You can enable shadows if you want. Um, uh, also, you could do the animation speed, the 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 tag type, your know, speed, um, the shadow radius, uh, all all these good things. Zoom, squeeze for window animations and stuff like that. So this is really cool, and you just hit save changes to apply any changes that you might have want that you've added. So. Uh, I mean, this tool is pretty awesome. It actually helps you configure uh, some of the things that that you really need to configure in DWM to make it nice and usable. Uh, I am not a big DWM fan, but this actually makes DWM for me absolutely 100% usable. So uh, that kind of culminates the, the, look, the look at FiOS and what potentially has the ability to be one of the greatest DWM setups out there that we can actually look forward to using. So uh, I'm kind of excited for the future of it. I know that they're, you know, taking some time off from the distribution for personal reasons from what uh, the person who recommended this to me told me. But when they do return, I hope that they complete this OS, make it a much more polished experience because, quite frankly, this is a way for X11 and XORG, not using Wayland, uh, to actually bring a, dare I say, a, this could be a new to Linux users setup, as easy as it is to just click on those things and make those changes. So this could be a Linux user setup very easily that doesn't have to delve too much into the terminal or text editor. So let's hope that that happens. Either way, you guys keep doing what you do. Keep on Linux, and if you're interested in trying it, I'll, like I said, I'll put a, 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 a wormhole link in the description. And if it expires uh, and you still want to try it, just leave a comment down below. I get notified of all the comments and I respond to all the comments. So I will send you a actual link as well. Uh, I'll repost another link in that description. I'll keep this, this, this ISO for a minute until there's no more interest in it whatsoever. So y'all keep doing what you do. Keep on listening. Stay blessed. Stay happy. And above all, I will see you in the very next one.